Welcome to Hydrology Studio. My name is Terry Stringer and I'm the Chief Software Architect for this product and today I'm going to show you how to set up your rainfall intensity duration frequency curves, more commonly called IDF curves. I'm going to demonstrate this in Hydrology Studio but the procedure is identical to the one you would use in Stormwater Studio. As you may have noticed your software has been preloaded with sample IDF curves which you can use to get yourself acquainted with a product. Here's how to set up your own local data. You start by clicking the Rainfall button located on the ribbon menu. That opens up the Rainfall IDF wizard. The wizard uses a modern day ribbon menu located along the top and the current IDF curves are shown on this graph where you can see the 2, 5, 10, 25, 50 and 100 year frequencies. Now you can develop the 1 and 3 year frequencies as well but the ones shown here do not use those. And the horizontal section on the curve indicates the user specified minimum T sub C. You can also view the curves in numerical form by clicking on this table tab. In the top row of this table are the frequency correction factors uh, which I'll go over in a few minutes. Now, all IDF curves, no matter what method was used to develop, are equation based. So even though this graph only shows intensities up to 120 minutes, there's really no time limit. To set up new curves, Click the New button. And this opens a wizard which will walk you through a series of steps. To start, you have three options on how to build your curves. One, create using rainfall map data uh, where you'll enter in precipitation values directly either from Hydro 35, NOAA Atlas 2, or NOAA Atlas 14. The second option is where you can enter intensities directly from your existing IDF curves or from NOAA Atlas 14. And the third method allows you to directly enter equation coefficients. Let's do option one. And we'll choose the eastern states. And here we just need to enter six numbers. That is the 5, 15, and 60 minute rainfall amounts for the 2 and 100 year return periods. Note that these rainfall amounts need to be in whole inches, not intensities. And the easiest and fastest way to get those numbers is by visiting the NOAA website to do that, just click on the NOAA button on the ribbon menu. Assuming you have an internet connection, that opens up a precipitation frequency data server. Now, just select your state, and for our example, I'm going to choose Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a NOAA Atlas 14 state with updated data, so we can get what we want directly from this screen. And notice at the top where it says data description. Set the data type to precipitation depth. If you were using option two at the start of this wizard, where you would enter known intensities, you would choose precipitation intensity instead. Now on the map, drag the red crosshair to the exact location of your choice. We're going to use Pittsburgh for this example. And once you've selected your exact location, the table below populates with that location's rainfall data. And it is this table where we'll get our rainfall amounts. Again, we're looking at the uh, 5, 15, and 60 minute rainfall amounts for the 2 and 100 year return periods. And we'll just enter those in real quick. The 2 year 5 minute value is 0.376 inches. The 15 minute is 0.718. And the 60 minute value is 1.18 inches. Likewise, the 100 year 5 minute precip is 0.71. The 15 minute is 1.33 and for the 100 year it's 2.56. Now click next and that's pretty much all you need to do. This next screen shows a table which lists intermediate intensity values derived from the rainfall amounts we entered. Click next again and this screen shows the actual coefficients for the equation that was developed for these curves. The top row shows the frequency correction factors, and it is on this screen where you specify those factors. The default is set at 1. Clicking Finish takes us back to where we started. And this is what IDF curves look like in Pittsburgh, PA. I suggest changing the title to the curves. Uh, you can just freely enter anything you wish. I'm going to enter in Pittsburgh, PA for this one. And then your last step is to save the curves. 
And just do this by clicking the Save button and choosing a folder and entering a file name. And I'll use Pittsburgh PA for this tutorial. Hydrology Studio will automatically open the last IDF file that was saved upon its next launch, so there's no need to reopen each time. And if you'd like a hard copy report of these curves, simply click the Report button and the Document Viewer opens up where you can preview before printing. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Hydrology Studio. Thank you.